In this video, we are going to discuss a problem related to convolution. Observe the problem here. The impulse response of continuous system is given by h of t is equal to del of t minus 1 plus del of t minus 3. The value of step response at t is equal to 2 is. So, what we need to find out in this problem is the value of step response at t is equal to rho 2. Coming to step response, what is meant by step response? Whether it is input or output, we need to know about that. So, here as I told you at the very beginning of signals and systems that is uh, system excitation nothing but input and response is nothing but output. So, here step response is a output they are asking for output of the system. So, then what is meant by step response if step response is the output then what is the specialty of step response which type of output that is. So, whenever we given step as a input signal then whatever the response or output we are getting from the system that is called as step response of the system then uh, indirectly they are saying that so the input of the system is step with impulse response h of t is equal to del of t minus 1 plus del of t minus 3 then what is the response of the system at t is equal to 2 they are asking that means they are having a system with the impulse response h of t and we need to give input x of t as u of t and whenever we given step signal what is the response they are asking. So, this y of t is then called as step response whenever you given u of t as your input signal for a system. They are asking if you are providing step as a input with this for a system with impulse response like that then what is the response step response you are going to get at t is equal to 2 at particular time instant they are asking. So, forget about this t is equal to 2 first we are going to deal with the step response output of the system. So, here we know that for a continuous time system the relation between output input and impulse response is y of t is equal to x of t convolution with h of t this is the relation between impulse response and input and output of a system here we know that the value of h of t they given some expression for h of t that i am going to substitute here so here this is equal to my x of t is u of t that means my input signal is u of t convolution with h of t means here i am considering del of t minus 1 plus del of t minus 3 here I am going to use distributive property of convolution there you can convolute individually and then you can add that means u of t convolution with del of t minus 1 like this you can consider plus u of t convolution with del of t minus 3 like this you can consider. So, now as you know that shifting property and convolution with impulse property u of t convolution with del of t minus 1. So, whatever shifted impulse is there that shift is going to affect your signal that means it will become u of t minus 1 u of t minus 1 plus here also. So, you are having shifted impulse that shift is going to affect your unit step function then it will become u of t minus 3. So, totally your step response y of t is equal to u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 3. But they are asking what is the value of y of t at t is equal to 2. First I want to consider my step response diagram and after that I am going to trace what is the value at t is equal to 2 in that signal. So, now here this response is the combination of two shifted unit steps that is so, generally our unit step u of t will start at 0 and it ends at infinity throughout this 0 to infinity it will maintain 1. But here you are having u of t minus 1 that u of t minus 1 is a shifted unit step shifted to t is equal to 1. That means from t is equal to 1 onwards up to infinity it will maintain 1 that means this is u of t minus 1. Coming to u of t minus 3, this is also a shifted impulse, uh, sorry, shifted unit step. So, here this shifted unit step will start at t is equal to 3 and ends at infinity up to infinity from 3, it is going to maintain 1. Now, 
so here u of t minus 1 and u of t minus 3 you need to add for your step response if you are going to add these two what you are going to get means so at t is equal to 1 at t is equal to 2 at t equal to 3 from 1 to 3 you are not having any signal here you are having only u of t minus 1 that means from 2 to uh, from 1 to 3 from 1 to 3 you will maintain an amplitude as 1 and from 3 onwards at 3 at t is equal to 3 at t is equal to 3 you are having your second signal that means your second signal is started here and you are having 1 as your voltage so this voltage is added with this voltage you are going to get 2 volts here that means your amplitude is rise to 2 volts from 3 so it will be continuous up to infinity up to infinity you are having both the signals so from 3 to infinity your amplitude of output signal will be 2 and from 1 to 3 your response voltage or amplitude is equal to 1 coming to the question so they ask what is the step response at t is equal to 2 this is our step response thus that means addition of u of t minus 1 u of t minus 3 they are asking what is the value at t is equal to 2 if you uh, consider a line perpendicular to that so here you can see so this is equal to 1 at t is equal to 2 your y of t is equal to 1 at t is equal to 2 your y of t is equal to 1 this will be the answer for this question so you need to answer like this type of questions by using properties of convolution.